This is our fifth Dancing in the Street Festival. This year we have over 1,000 dancers that are participating and that's the most we've ever had. There's four stages, three are totally dedicated to performance and they're almost non-stop. Webster University students put on two performances at the 2011 Dancing in the Street Festival. One, a piece that was performed last year on campus, and this one, a structured improv on the steps of the Third Baptist Church on Grand Boulevard. It's a site-specific structured improvisation that's choreographed and performed and created by the students. So we started signing up for the opportunity to do this the beginning of, well, the middle of the summer. Then some people heard about it once they got back to school and decided they wanted to do it as well. And a few people dropped out along the way because they got too busy with school. So it's just been in the last, say, three weeks that we've, or month maybe, we've been working on it. I think it's awesome because, like, it's free, so anyone can come and it's not excluding anybody. Um, it's very open, so if someone was just in the city, they can just experience dance and they don't get that opportunity in a theater often. I really enjoy that people can actually come out and appreciate the arts and be able to do it for free because it is a very expensive, it's a very expensive market basically and I love how St. Louis can put something like this on so people can come and appreciate the arts. people in dance and then you get depressed why they don't show up to see the real thing. No, our <laughs> hope is that they'll buy tickets to see concert performances. <laughs> Reporting for the Journal, Evan Miller.